Here you see the executive summary of the Valdez oil spill. An executive summary is a one-page overview of a root cause analysis investigation. Typically, it includes the problem outline, the cause map, and the solutions chart. You can also add other supporting evidence, such as in this case photos and text. This is the cause map template for Excel 2007 that is available for download from our website. You will notice within the table of contents that there isn't an executive summary, so we're going to add one today. First, we are going to add a line to the table of contents to show where the executive summary will be placed. To do that, we click on the row that is going to be below the row we want to add. Right click and click insert. We are going to add a worksheet that's entitled Exec Summary, and the description is an executive summary of the investigation. You will see here that the Outline, Cause Map, and Solutions tab are color-coded to match up with the color that's the line on the table of contents. We're going to do the same thing with Executive Summary. To do that, we select both these cells using the Shift key, right-click, and select Format Cells. Under the Fill tab, you'll see that we have some fill choices. We're going to choose this nice light green and click OK. You'll see that we now have an entry in our table of contents for the Executive Summary, and it's coded green. Now we need to go and actually add a worksheet that we can title Executive Summary. To do that, we right-click on the tab after where we want the sheet to appear. So again, we right-click on Outline and select Insert. We want to add a worksheet, so we select OK. We're going to rename this sheet Executive Summary. To do that, we right-click where it says Sheet 1 and select Rename. Now we can rename it Executive Summary. And again, we want the tab color-coded to match with the entry in the table of contents. So to do that, right-click on Executive Summary and select Tab Color. It gives the same color option, so we can select this light green. Now if we go back to the title page, we have the Executive Summary matched to the green tab Executive Summary. We want our Executive Summary page to be one page so that everyone can easily print it on a regular printer. If we click on the executive summary page, it's not always easy to see when you're working with Excel where the outlines of a page are. So first we're going to get rid of the grid lines on this view menu, make it look like a nice white sheet like the rest of our drawing pages. You'll notice also on the view menu over on the left we are in our normal view. If we click on page layout, you'll see that it actually outlines the size of one page in Excel, so we can see when we add things where they need to go to fit on the one page. Now we are in portrait mode right now, but we generally are going to want to be in landscape mode because of the way that cause maps build that will usually fit better. To do that, go up to the menu and click on page layout, select orientation, like I said we're in portrait right now, and we're going to pick landscape. We want to add a copy of our outline to the executive summary page. Now if we add a copy, that means that all we need to do is update the outline and our updates will automatically show on the executive summary. Let me show, how you, show you how to do that. First go to the outline, select all the parts of the outline that you want to copy. On the home menu, select copy and then click over to executive summary. Now go back to this home menu and there's a little arrow underneath paste. If you select that, the very bottom is as picture. It'll give you another menu option and we are going to actually paste a picture link. You'll see this makes a copy of the outline. We're going to need to resize it. Make sure you grab the corner to resize. We have a copy of our outline. Now what this means is any changes that you make to the outline. If you add text, if you add dollar amounts, etc. These changes are going to be reflected on your executive summary. The next step is to add the cause map to our executive summary. We've already added step one, which is the outline. Now we'll add step two. Because the template does not come with the cause map on it, this is what you add when you're going through your investigation. I've borrowed the cause map from the Valdez, which we discussed earlier. You see with the Valdez, I've already done the hard work, which is to take your detailed cause map, pare down some detail to get an inter intermediate level, and then pare down even more detail to get this high level overview. Right now, we're going to take this one right here, which is the six box cause map. To do that, make sure that your arrow cursor is selected. 
outline the area that you want and go up to this clipboard on the home menu and select copy. And we're going to go back to our executive summary, right click, and select paste. Now we can move our cause map so that it fits nicely onto our one page executive summary. Now we're ready to add step three, the solutions table. We're going to add it in much the same way that we added the outline. So if we go over to our solutions page, deselect the arrow, select the items of the action items table that we want to select, and go up to our home, clipboard, copy, go back to the executive summary, down to the paste menu, paste as picture, paste picture link. And you'll see it's going to copy just like the outline, and again, we're going to need to resize it so that it fits on the page with our cause map and our outline. Just like the outline, when we go and type in information into this action item table, it is going to be reflected on the action items table in the executive summary. We have all the necessary information on our executive summary. Now it's time to add some extras. First, we probably want to add some titles showing what these different objects on here are. In order to do that, go to the Insert menu, Text Box, and Insert the Text Box. You can call these whatever you want, but I'm going to write Step 1, Outline. Now if we go to the Home menu, we can change the font, the font size, bold, italics, etc. And once we've got it the way that we want it, move it to where we want. We'll put this one above the outline. We don't need quite enough room, so we're going to move some stuff around. And if you want all of your title pages to look exactly the same, I suggest using the control drag method. To, you may want to add other things to your executive summary, such as the timeline, photos, diagrams, etc. For adding the timeline, I suggest adding it the same way that we added the outline and the action items, pasting as a picture link so that any changes that you make to the timeline will also be reflected on the executive summary. For diagrams and photos, I'm going to go back to the Exxon Valdez page and select a photo. Right click on the photo that you want to copy, go back to your executive summary and paste, resize, and in order to make sure that this doesn't end up with a file that's too big, we can compress this picture. To compress pictures, select the picture, and you'll notice that we get the Format Picture Tools menu. If you click on Format, you have Compressed Pictures. You can apply only to the selected pictures or to all the pictures in the workbook. What this will do is compress the picture size so that it is not noticeable to you looking at it, but it will reduce the size of the file. Now, as you see, our executive summary right now fits nicely on one page. However, let's make some of this stuff bigger so that it doesn't fit anymore. Let's say we have an executive summary that goes slightly past one page. We want to make sure that it all shows on one page. The way that we can do that is by going to the Windows menu, Print, Print Preview, and click on Page Setup you'll see that scaling, it automatically will adjust to 100% normal size for printing. However, this makes it two pages. We'd like this to all fit on one page. So we can click on this Fit To, and it will now fit everything on here to one page wide by one page tall. You can see it's just going to print a slightly smaller area. 